good evening friends so the next important video that uh, we'll be looking at is the copy column transformation uh, in the data flow task we are working upon uh, the transformations currently so uh, i'm using the last package only that we had created and worked upon on the i mean for the conditional split uh, transformation that we had set up and learned how to use them so further to that i have added for uh, on the basis on the last conditional split transformation we had used I am mean, redirected the 2008 and 2007 transaction files into two different uh, um, destination file paths so if you remember uh, next to that for the 2007 file destinations we we'll, we are adding a copy column transformation so uh, now let's start looking at what a copy column transformation is uh, copy column transformation is nothing but a sim similar uh, very simple uh, transformation in which you can uh, actually add the uh, create a replica or a create one uh, one, uh, one copy of a column so say these are the input uh, input columns that you uh, are having to this transformation so you can select any of uh, the columns and then uh, generate a copy of it so basically if you see i have uh, generated a copy of a username column and uh, put the output alias name of the column as copy of username so this would generate uh, add one more co a column to the next input uh, or to the output or the or to the next input transformation if you will so uh, but basically let's try and understand why would you create a copy uh, copy of a column so the basic need for copying a column would be when you are trying to uh, uh, transform a perform some amount of uh, transformation to a column and at the same time you also want to retain the original copy uh, of it so uh, you want to create one more copy of the same column and then work upon it and transform it as uh, you please to do so so that's uh, this is copy column would create one more copy for you of the column and uh, then you can further work work upon that so we have created a copy column here and next we have added one more transformation which we'll, we will be looking at uh, in a greater detail that's the derived column so derived column uh, in the derived column transformation we have used the uh, copy column and uh, since the copy column is having uh, uh, I, mean, I mean copy of the username column is having the username we are using an expression of string function which is uh, uh, which is just to convert uh, the username into upper uppercase so this returns uh, the uppercase character conversion so basically we have just used this expression and replaced the uh, i mean uh, the column so that that is what the derived column is is for is just transforming all the cases uh, and and putting it in the uppercase and next we are just uh, adding in the flight flat file destination uh, if you see uh, uh, if you see there is this has all the mappings of uh, the username and the copy of username one more column is, is being is has been added if you see so basically uh, and if you look at the mappings uh, you would have to map this input column to the output destination column as well now so now let's run this package and have and take a look at this uh, output of this okay so if we the 2008 data output will remain as it was so there will be no new column added uh, i mean to the output it would be it would be remaining as it was so basically if you see th there is the last column is the username column uh, username column which is which is there the copy of username column has not been added to this output file next if we look at the 2007 data and uh, this would add a new cop uh, user uh, i mean uh, add a new column post uh, your uh, username column so if you take a look this is the data uh, this is the username for your normal username uh, column and this is the 
transformed which is which has been uh, transformed to upper case so that's uh, that's just a simple demonstration of uh, using a co copy column actually a uh, truly speaking copy column is is not that much of a use uh, and it's not uh, used in SSIS generally the reason behind it is that uh, the derived column transformation does the same of the same amount of work or the same work uh, as of copy column so be, uh, and also it performs some of the transformations necessary transformations which are involved so copy column simply generates a copy of a column but your derived column not only uh, uh, creates a copy of a column but also performs a transformation so this uh, this is uh, the difference uh, and because of the advantage of uh, is is twofold for with derived column it's uh, copy column it's near is nearly an obsolete transformation but it's good to know so uh, next in the next section we'll we will be looking at the derived column transformation and try to understand how this works in a greater detail thank you so much friends